Hi everyone, in this video we will introduce our paper, Open Vocabulary Universal Image Segmentation with Mass Clip. Most of previous segmentation studies focused on the closed vocabulary setting, limited to handling a fixed set of category definitions. For example, when the model is chained on the COGO dataset, the model couldn't tell the donkey in this image and can only output the horse. Open vocabulary, on the other hand, means that it could recognize objects or stuff described by arbitrary text queries. To achieve this, a direct way is to just obtain a large amount of well-labeled and well-masked dataset so that they can learn the vision language relationship. However, obtaining such datasets would require a large amount of efforts. On the other hand, there exist many image text pairs on the internet which are much easier to obtain. Clip is such a large pre-trained vision language model that chains on 400 million image text pairs collected from the internet which connects both vision and language domains. Although Clip has shown great zero-shot accuracy on image classification tasks, it cannot be directly used for image segmentation tasks, as the image encoder here only learns global image features. For image segmentation tasks, on the other hand, one needs to get a partial image feature so that they can be used for recognition. For example, if we want to identify the donkey in the image, we need to get a partial feature of the donkey area first. There has been some work on utilizing clip to get such partial features in open vocabulary recognition tasks. A common way to do this is to first get in bounding box or mask proposals from an image, and then use the bounding boxes or masks to crop or mask the images. The resulted images will be sent to the clip visual encoder to get partial image features for further recognition. However, a key problem in those methods is that for a given image here, they need to send all the masked or cropped images to the pre-chained image encoder individually. Say an image has 100 bounding boxes or masks, then such methods will need to run clip 100 times, which is very inefficient. But can we just run the clip model one time and get the partial features of the image like this? In this way, we can obtain the partial or dense features from the pre-chained clip much more efficiently. To solve this problem, let's take a detailed look at the clip VIT encoder first. To obtain the image feature, the clip VIT encoder adds an additional class token to attend the image tokens which has been widely used in previous VIT models. Since our goal is to obtain the partial image features more efficiently, for all these masks from the input image, instead of running the clip model individually for all these masks, we add another unmasked class tokens to the clip visual encoder, and it will have an output features which we hope could represent our corresponding partial image feature. Here, we utilize a mask to serve as a tension mask in the transformer layer. To be more specifically, for a given mask like this, First, we patchify the mask as we did the same for the input image. Thus, we can see only several patches contribute to this foreground person or object. Instead of attending all the image tokens, we mask out all other unrelated image tokens like this. Therefore, for this specific mask class token, it will only attend these four image tokens in each self-attention layer. Thus, it would output the corresponding partial image feature. Here we assign the same weights of the class token in the pre-chained clip model to the all newly added mask class tokens. A good property of this is that if the mask is simply the whole image, then the output feature will be exactly the same as the class token, which is image level global feature. Also note for the mask class tokens, apart from attending the image tokens, they also attend the class tokens, which will give the global context features. This is very important as in some cases, it's hard to recognize only from the masked image. Here we can see by doing this, we already have a zero-shot segmentation model model by utilizing a pre-chained class agnostic mask proposal network and the pre-chained image clip model. In this table, the mask class token way of obtaining the partial image features show all the results superior than using the vanilla image masking way on these four benchmarks. Needless to say, it's also way more efficient than the image masking way as we only need to run clip for one time instead of n times. To further utilize the detailed mask information and refine the masks, we propose a relative mask attention module. This module shares a similar idea with using data for image segmentation, which utilizes the information of the attention mask to obtain the image mask. In general, we use the mask information to add more details to the self-attention layer and in turn use the information from the attention layer to refine the masks. 
Let's see some qualitative results. The input image is an indoor sea as the top left image shows here. The zero shot clip with the image masking master as you will see actually predicts the flow with a skyscraper. While using mask class tokens, this problem doesn't exist in both results. The wrong prediction actually is pretty reasonable if you only look at the flow. And that's what the image masking method does. It only looks at the flow so that it loses the global context information. Our method, on the other hand, since the mask class token still attends the class token, which is a global image feature, it won't lose the global context information. For more results and details of our paper, please visit our website. Thanks for your watching.